Getting started with Showed Me is quick and easy. You will receive a text message or email with a link to login along with your assigned username. This text or email may also include a password. If no password is provided, you will be prompted to create your own. Any provided usernames or passwords are case sensitive and should be typed exactly as shown. If you are registered with a valid email and forget your password, you can reset the password on your own at any time. If you have any questions, you can get support at any time via the live chat option on your screen. You can also email our support team at support at show.me for additional help. The first thing you will see is your dashboard. Any assigned training items will be listed under your to-do list. Click the Start button to enter an assigned learning path. From here, you'll see an overview of the learning path as well as any steps that need to be completed. You'll also see your completion percentage. This number will update as tasks are completed. Remember, you must click the Complete Step button before moving on to the next step. As soon as you click the button, a green checkmark will appear to confirm the step is complete. This lets you know you're ready to move on. If the Complete Step button isn't visible, it usually means the step has a timer still running or a video that hasn't finished playing. Once both are complete, the button will automatically become available. Your training may include online forms that you'll need to complete. Make sure to fill out all mandatory fields. If anything is missing or entered incorrectly, the form will not submit. Once all required fields are complete, scroll down and click Submit. Click Complete Step so the green checkmark appears. Then you can continue to the next step. Your learning path may also include an interactive course. You'll be asked to register for the course by following the on-screen prompts. When registration is complete, you'll be automatically redirected to the course videos. Once you have finished, select Complete Step. Many courses include a required quiz. You'll be asked several questions and will need to choose the most appropriate answers. At the end, you'll be able to review your score. If you do not meet the passing grade, you'll need to retake the quiz before moving on. After completing all steps in your learning path, you'll likely be asked to add your electronic signature. This signature confirms that you've successfully completed your training. A completion certificate will then be available for you to view at any time. It will remain in your profile for both you and your organization to access, and it can be printed if needed. Once everything is signed and complete, you're all set until your next to-do item is assigned. This will depend on your organization's training requirements. If you have any questions, please feel free to access the live chat option on your screen or email our support team at support at for additional help.